Hello YouTubers, I wanted to show a little bit about using the domino joiner for mid-panel joints. It's pretty self-explanatory when the joint is on the edge of the board, but when the boards are mid-field, it's less obvious how to do it. This is a maple table base that I'm making. I want to insert some cross pieces mid-field to add strength to the tabletop. There is an easy way to set this up, and that's what I'm going to show. None of this is glued together yet. I'll take the boards over to the MFT and we'll start to lay it up. Here at the MFT, I've set in position where I want the boards. The MFT surface represents the uh, upper portion of the table, so this is basically upside down. For the thinner boards, there will only be one row of dominoes, and layout here is a little more forgiving. This section that has a double row for the workbench top where there will be something heavier is a little more tricky to set up. I'll use a pencil here and make a line on both edges of the board. Reoriented the pieces, putting the longer apron down on the MFT, and I've set my stretcher in place. And basically I'll take it and fold it down. Now I want to bring this edge up to the line and just at the line. And I want to line up these two edges here. Once I get that in position, I'll clamp it down. I have the boards clamped in position. This board is just to the inside of the line that's here. They're flush here and they're clamped to the work surface. The domino cutter is centered 10 millimeters above the bottom of the domino joiner. So if I have an eight millimeter bit, half of that eight millimeter is four millimeters, take 10 minus four, and we have six millimeters. So I'll have six millimeters of material from the edge of the board to the cutout of the domino and I'll be able to make both domino cuts with the boards clamped as you see them. I've added a couple of marks here to show how far down from the top of the board I want the dominoes to be. And I'll use my domino jointer and align the center to the line here. And again, my cuts will be with the boards clamped as you see them. One series of cuts will be with the domino jointer like this on those lines that I showed. And then the other series of cuts is with the domino jointer like this. And notice we're not using the flip down fence. We're just using the fact that this board has been pushed down at the line. We'll make the cuts. Now we have the mating cuts. We'll unclamp this board. We'll flip it over, since this is a double thickness board, we'll flip it over and do the other side in the same fashion. Top piece has been flipped over, the clamps have been moved over, and we're ready to do this next series of cuts. We have all the cuts for this double section. I have the next cross member in place on the line, and again, I will just fold this down, line up these surfaces so that they're flush, bring this so that it's right on the line, and I'll clamp this down. Note that with the thinner board, you have to make your lines a little bit longer so that you can see them through the window here of the domino but that's not that big of a deal when you're using a square. Just make your lines a little bit longer. That looks good. So we'll continue down the line and do this next stretcher. So I have all of my domino pockets cut out. I'm going to sand these boards 
to remove my layout lines, and then I'll be ready to glue it all together. This is the table base with the stretchers installed and ready for the top. Here we have our potter's table ready to go. That's it. Thank you for watching.